Hey, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from PRDB Entertainment. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add your gamepad for moving around and looking around in your project, in your game. Now, we're going to be using the same player controller blueprint that we created, the VR KB, KB mouse control. So, let's go into that one. And as you can see in the previous tutorial, we did a bunch of things for the movement in the keyboard plus also the mouse now let's go to our project settings let's go to input we're gonna create uh, a map ACES mapping for the gamepad there's gonna be four of them gamepad uh, move gamepad no let's put the gamepad left right now for this one, I'm going to choose a gamepad. The uh, left analog is going to be the X. Now I'm going to choose another. Ah, oh, my bad. I'm going to choose another Aces mapping, and this one is going to be named Gamepad Forward Back. This one is going to be the Y on the left analog stick I'm gonna create another ACES mapping this one's gonna be gamepad look sides I'm gonna choose the right analog for the X and the last ACES mapping is gonna be gamepad look up down this one is going to be the right analog for the Y ACES. Now I'm going to export this. I'm going to overwrite my input file. And now I'm going back to my player controller, the VR keyboard mouse control. And I'm going to start creating all the events here for our gamepad. So first of all, let's get our events for moving mm, the character forward and backwards game pad forward back let's get the other one game pad left and right there we go let's get the other one game pad game pad look sides and the last one game pad look up and down. There we go. So I'm going to put these two over here just for now. Let's start with these ones first. Now, let's drag out from uh, player character. Let's create a new one. Get player character. So we can start getting everything from here. Now, let's add a control. No. We need to add a movement first of all. The jaw and the pitch is going to be for later. Movement. Let's add another one. I'm going to put this one right here. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the keyboard. Okay? So now let's get control rotation. And from this. Let's get our two vectors, the forward vector and the right vector. And we need to link them up just the same as they are on the keyboard. Okay, so now we got the movement for getting uh walking forward and backwards and left and right so let's try it out really quick let me put a comment box here game pad movement right let's try it out compile play i got a 360 controller here save selected <coughs> Here it comes. So 
computer's kind of slow. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. So now we're walking forward, backwards, left, and right. So now the next step is to put the view to work. And for that, we're going back to our player controller blueprint and we're going to take our two events for looking around. And we need to get the yaw. Add controller jaw input. And we also need to get from the player character the pitch. Get control. Oh, my bad. Not get. Add control pitch. There we go. Now let's link these two here. Also these two. And I think that's it guys. I think we're finished here with the gamepad. Let's try it out one more time. As simple as you can see. The most simple way to do it. By PRDV Entertainment. <laughs> Okay, so it's working perfectly. Wow, this is great. All right, I'm gonna blow these things off out of the map here. All right, so I cannot jump. So what's the next step for making this gamepad, this character that we have here with the controller to jump around with the gamepad? We're going back to our project settings and we're going to add another map, but this time this is going to be only an action map, so we're going to create one here. We're going to put here gamepad jump. Okay, so this is the event that we need to search. Now we're going to put here that it's going to be. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I just saw it. Uh, I'm kind of lost. Again. All right. The gamepad face button, the bottom one, that is the A, the. Which ones we have here? The right will be the B on the 360 controller. The top will be the Y. And the left will be the X. So right now we're going to take the A. This is the bottom one. We're going to export our file. Overwrite the input file. And now let's go back to our player controller. And from here, the only thing that we need to add is the map. So we need to search for it. Gamepad jump. There we go. We have it on the top. This is the one that we just created on the keys over there on the project settings. And now we need to get from the player character the function jump. And as soon as it's pressed, you will start jumping. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Everything that you try to do with functions and stuff, you always have to tell that you want to get it from the player character. That's why we have that node over there that says get player character. And from there, you can see that it links with every, almost everything on your blueprint. It doesn't have to be with a character depending on what you're creating. It depends on the blueprint of what it is. If it's going to be an object, then you need to point to that object, not to the player character. So you need to check on the names of the objects and stuff like that to be sure that you put in the, the current ones. Now I'm going to jump, and I'm jumping. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Ah, there we go. So that's it, guys. This is uh, the basic thing for the gamepad settings. Uh, I will try to add more more settings for the game pads and the keyboard, but eventually that will be, be that will be you know by time. Every time that we insert something new, then we're gonna add functions to different stuff. Like we need to create a fun some functions that we can grab these box and like drag them around the map and put it somewhere else and stuff like that. Plus on the motion controllers, when we start adding those for the VR, 
you will have to also add those setups so it can work. Alright guys, all right, guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and just leave a comment if you have a question. Bye.